Choo Choo and Friends in Story Time. Yay, this is fun. Pusley, were you playing ball inside the house? No, Mommy, I wasn't. Why would I do such a thing, Mommy? Then how did this happen? Uh, uh Mommy, he did it. Alex did it. He was flying around and bumping into things and, and he crashed into the face. Well... If Alex is going to be breaking things around the house, then I'm afraid we can't let him inside. He'll have to stay in the yard. I guess that's the right thing to do, Mommy. I think I'll go up to my room and finish my homework. Great. I'll see you later. You're a good boy, Cusley. It's okay. You're just having a bad dream. Huh? That was a dream? You mean all the cute pets out there don't hate me? Alex doesn't hate me? But why should they hate you, Cuzly? Mommy, I've done a terrible thing. Do you want to talk about it, Cuzly? I lied, Mommy. I was 
playing ball inside the house, even though I know it's not allowed. That was the first lie. And the vase broke because of that. And I got scared that you'd be mad at me. And then I told another lie. I broke the vase and I blamed it on poor Alex. And he got punished. Oh, Mommy, I don't feel so good inside. Are you mad at me, Mommy? No, Cusley. In fact, I'm proud that you found the courage to tell the truth. Huh? It's wrong to blame someone else for something they didn't do. And I'm glad you felt bad about it and owned up to your mistake. You're a good boy, Cusley. And I won't punish Alex. Thank you, Mommy. Alex, my buddy. I'm really sorry for putting the blame on you. I've learned my lesson. I'll never do something like that again. Do you forgive me? Huh? Do you? Show me that you forgive me, Alex. Uh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> Cusley was a very spoiled little boy. He would always throw tantrums when he wanted something. And he would pester his mother to buy him a new toy every day. Mom, I want that toy. Please buy it for me. I really want it. I really do. Cusley's mother felt very troubled with the way Cusley behaved. Especially when she took Cusley to a store and he would refuse to move till she bought him something. I want that toy! I won't come home till I get it! Cusley! Please behave yourself. Everyone's watching. One day, Cusley's mother decided to be very firm with Cusley. I want that toy car! I won't move from here until you buy it! I'm sorry, Cusley, but I'm not buying that toy car for you. You already have dozens of toys that you don't even play with. But this car is a red one! You must buy it for me, Mom! I want that robot, too! I'm sorry, Cusley, but I'm not buying you anything. Ah! Cusley's mother took Cusley home and showed him his toy bin. Look at how many toys you have, Cusley! And look at how many of each kind. You hardly play with them. I really don't think you need more toys. You already have more toys than you can play with. They are all being wasted. Huh? 
Wesley's mother then pointed out some of the other children from the neighborhood. Look at these children, Cusley. They hardly have any toys. Why don't you invite them over and give them some of your extra toys? Good idea, Mom! And so, Cusley invited the children over. Friends, please take some of my toys. I have too many of them. I'd like to share some of them with you. All the children were very happy. They took some of the toys and thanked Cusley. Thank you for sharing your toys with us, Cusley. We've never seen so many toys before in our life. You really are generous. Yes, Cusley. Thank you. Why don't you come and play with us? It'll be fun. <laughs> Cusley felt very happy now. He realized that his mother had made him do the right thing. Giving his toys away had made the other children very happy. And the toys he had stopped playing with were being put to good use.